Hi guys, if you click that thumbnail, you know where you reach. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. Guess who is up next? Capricorn. Now Capricorn, y'all kicked everybody's eh, bleep, okay? Bone okay. So, thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I missed you guys so, so much. If you guys did not know, after that horrible energy that we had back in March, I started out this month completely sick, infections and all types of stuff. I don't know. I take it that that was spirit telling me that I needed to sit down. Okay, well, guess what? She ready. I'm back. Okay, let's go. This is going to be your April 2019 how does Bay feel about you for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Bow and ow and whatever. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to my tribe, hey, fam fams, ow. I don't got no stones in the brazier. But we locked and loaded. This is going to be the last video for tonight. Um, those snips took too much out of me. So, Taurus, you will, you will be... Upload it tomorrow. Don't complain. Okay? One more day. Okay. All right. As a matter of fact, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Cancer will be uploaded tomorrow. Okay? All right. This is going to be a five-card read, and we're going to be examining um, how your partner feels about you, Capricorn, and this beautiful month of action. That's April 2019. We are bringing the Romance Angel Oracle cards back. You know we do one and two down. That's one and as the main theme. And then we look at two down. <laughs> it sounds like we're playing tic-tac-toe. One and two down. Um, you've been watching me long enough. You know what that means. We also have, we're going to be ushering in brand new energy with the main decks. Main deck energy. You know I change it every single month. So we are going to be doing the beautiful golden universal tarot. Okay. As the main energy for your partner. We are also going to be clarifying the main energy with the Everyday Tarot mini deck. Uh, the Your Energy will be pulled by Morgan Greer because that's what we do. <laughs> okay. Beautiful deck. I love Morgan. You guys know that. And then we're going to be clarifying Morgan with Gilded. Same clarifiers. We changed the main energy to switch it up. Clarifying energy don't never change. Okay, but okay, let's get started. All right. Thank you guys so much for being patient. I missed you guys so much. Every, really, everything you need is in the description. Thank you, Spirit, for knocking all of these on the floor. Um, the rule of thumb, guys, for the extensions. If the video is posted, the extension is available. If the video is not posted, the, the extension is not available. Those, extent, those extensions are done live to keep the integrity of the reading. I don't pre-record those. I don't do any of that. I record it as soon as you watch this video. It should be available because I the other one is loaded and that one is recorded. And that's how we do it. The assembly line. Okay. She ready. I missed you guys. Let's get started. Universe Spirit Angels. And my guys, go ahead and provide me with the love that surrounds Capricorn and partner. How does Capricorn's partner feel about them? Okay, let's see. Whoa, okay, spirit. Show me. Whoa, okay. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. What is going on? Libra has such a beautiful energy. Please don't make me... Get mad. You're being guided to love yourself first. Now I'm going to pull. True love. Okay. I'll take it. Love yourself first, but true love. Okay. So your partner, retreat. Libra just had the same thing. Everybody needs to retreat. Bottom of the deck. Wedding. I can't even make this stuff up. Okay, so we got some conflicting energies here, which makes sense. It goes in line. 
you're dealing with some type of mutable energy, some uh, type of energy Capricorn that possibly changes their mind all the time or they're feeling like this is what you have. So we have love yourself first. We got retreat. And we have true love. Bottom of the deck being wedding as I peek. Underneath that, we got finances and career. You're connecting with something. Let's find out how they feel. So they're feeling like love yourself first. What's that about? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Now, Capricorn, I know darn well. This has to mean something else. Has to. Show me, spirit. How does Capricorn's partner feel about them? Show me, please. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. I'm not taking either one of these, but it was not good. The seven of swords and the four of swords. Mind games, baby. The mind games. How does Capricorn's partner feel about them? My God, Cap, what is you doing? Cap. Oh, my God. Well, somebody has options. Look at that beautiful Seven of Cups, though. Okay, Capricorn, they feel like you have options. Oh, there's a message of love with the Page of Cups. Page of Cups, that's what that is. Beautiful. There's been some options here. What are you doing where they're feeling like you're not loving on yourself first? That's really bothering me. I hope that comes out. How does Capricorn's partner feel about them? Oh, my goodness. They feel like you're undecided about something, Cap? They feel like you're undecided about something? Or they're undecided about something? How they feel about you? Hmm. How does Capricorn's partner feel about them, Spirit? Wow, this is interesting to me. Ten of Pentacles. Whew, you're going to make me work for my last video tonight, ain't you? Thank you, Spirit. Is this judgment? Okay. Bottom of the deck. The sun, three of wands, and I believe that this is the page of wands. Yep. Okay. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. The magician as we peek. When we peek at the energy, the magician is here with this wedding card that's peaking at the neighboring energies, okay? This is a very all over the place type of energy here. Somebody is feeling like someone is not raising their vibration and they're probably not putting it to you like that. This is very much so, I want to offer you this. This is an in and out type of thing. I want to bring the message home that I want to offer you stability. But there could be options that they feel like you have. And why, I don't know. They feel like it's something that you are undecided about or they're undecided about you or they're undecided about actually bringing this home. This feels like mutable energy. And then we have this call that's coming down. This, this call that's bigger than us. Someone is struggling with loving on themselves. From a feelings perspective, this is real love, okay? But I feel like we have a person who is very in and out that you're connecting with. And I feel as if 
you guys are being guided to focus on the love and do some retreating with one another. But this one is bothering me. Self-respect makes you more romantically attractive as the thing. Someone is indulging in some things that does not shine them in a good light with this Seven of Cups. And I think that's just what it is. Capricorn, your partner is either engaging in things that are not savory. Ideas, thoughts, not even ideas. This is plain, flat out action here. There is some indecision. Yet, there is an undeniable passion about you. Okay. Planning with this page of wands. Wanting to bring home to you the passion and make an offer. Or they keep coming and reconnecting with the passion. And letting you know how much you feel about them. Some of them is trying to really manifest this wedding energy here. But there are some, they put it like this. Someone is fighting themselves. Now, Capricorn, you know I how I've been feeling about this. The la last month, I think your video said something along the lines of your partner is fighting the devil or something. This time, we have the true love. We have the, two, the Ten of Pentacles. I feel as if this is an existing connection. This is an, this is an existing connection, Capricorn, with a possible fire sign. Someone that has um, um, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, Cancer Venus with these cups. Capricorn, the, the Ten of Pentacles is here, so the stability is here. But there is something that is very wishy-washy in this energy. I feel like this is an established connection between you and someone that has took place, taken place a while uh, there could be children involved. I do see this page. Okay. I see this page of cups. We also have at the bottom of the deck energy. We also have this page of wands. That could indicate a Cancer Pisces Scorpio child with my page. That can also indicate a Aries Leo Sagittarius child or some type of of fire in their charts. Um, th this represents My children. Search turn something up for Aries and Leo Sagittarius child. Sorry, guys. Siri, Siri is not playing. Now, what she had to do with that? Only in your reader. Ain't nobody asked her. <laughs> that ain't never happened to me before. Siri, stop game banging. Who talking to her? Now, back to the point. There are children involved here. There is career and finance issues. I feel like all of these issues affect why this Ten of Pentacles is not off the ground. So Capricorn, how do they feel about you? They're passionate. They want to get things back on the straight and narrow with you. They feel like this is true love. They feel like they want to manifest deeper and stronger things with you. But I'm about to clarify what this indecision is. And I also am not feeling too happy about this love yourself first. There is some type of action that has taken place represented by this judgment and this seven of cups. That indicates to me when I put those two together along with this two of swords, okay, I feel like that is blocking it. Love yourself first could be a metaphor for raising your elevation, raising your elevation, raising your vibration. 
there has been a behavior that exists in this relationship or this union that someone just can't get past. That's basically what where I'm going with this. I feel like the indecision stems from someone taking part of something in the seven of cups that just does not fly with the other person, which is a direct correlation to this love yourself first. Men, if it's you, it has something to do with options, bringing other people into this union, possibly. Women, um, it could be some of the same type of things. I'm going to go ahead and get clarifying because it is killing me. This is an established union. I've said that about eight times. This is something, this is earth and fire with a little sprinkle of water. This is earth and fire with a little with a little sprinkle of water and a little sprinkle of air. I don't necessarily feel like these swords represent someone, um, but we could have some air in your chart as well. It's here. I can't make it up. I gotta clarify this. This is driving me nuts. There is a blockage that is represented here, and I need to find out instead of saying it over and over again, Capricorn. Um, clarify this Seven of Cups for me. What does the Seven of Cups represent? What is the blockage here, Spirit? What is this Seven of Cups for? There's going to be some type of um, conversation. Come on. Sorry for that banging. There's going to be some type of conversation a passionate new start if those that that page of um, wands and this page of cups does not represent a passionate conversation about trying to get this relationship back off the ground or working through what's represented in this card with the judgment. If it doesn't represent that, then it's children. Clarify the seven of cups for me, please, spirit. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Interesting. There is some behavior here. I'm feeling it and I'm seeing it. Someone partakes in something that is not conducive. Okay, I'm going to take off the top. We got the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles clarifying the Seven of Cups. Hmm. King of Pentacles. So the king has more, I'm feeling like in this case, if I had to combine those energies, then the king is spreading himself through those different cups, which is a metaphor for seeing more than one person or having more than one root planted. There is more than one seed planted in this union. And I'm really feeling like this can go both ways. I'm just going to call it now, guys. This is one of those vice versa spreads. If you resonate with the top energy, then this for you. If you resonate with the extension, then that's going to be for you. Because I'm not necessarily feeling like this is 100% what Capricorn is doing. I'm also I'm feeling like this is a vice versa spread where Capricorn can be feeling like this about this person. So take it as it resonates. I'm not going to say necessarily that that's what's going on right here. Um, someone feels like this pinnacle is being spread around into these seven cups. And if you take your pinnacle, your stability, your abundance, and, and what makes you you, and what makes you great, and you, um, you spread it around to all of these unviable options that is represented in this seven of cups, that's what, that's, that's what makes you look like you don't respect yourself. Maybe giving money to the strip club, whatever. It's not, it's not good. Let's clarify this page, spirit. Clarify this, the page of cups for me. That's what I feel like. And I feel like this behavior, oh my God, look at all of this. Energy and stuff is laying everywhere. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm leaving them. Let's go. I ain't even got time. Capricorn. Why? Six of Pentacles. Balance. 
you have had your hands in the pot, whomever is resonated with the top energy, whether it be how they feel about you, Capricorn, or how you feel about them. This person or you have had your hands in the pot, which explains this two of swords. There is a decision, and this I, I keep hearing two. I keep getting balanced. I keep hearing two. I'm just, oh, okay. Ace of Pentacles. Do I start anew? Someone wants to make an offer. Someone is not so sure. Underneath that was the hangman and judgment again. I'm not taking those. Go ahead and clarify this Ten of Pentacles for me. What am I going to call this? My God. I thought we was going to have some good energy with that, with that Libra video, but I guess not. Capricorn. Ooh, we clarify this ten of pentacles there's love though this is what leads me to believe that this isn't a surprise to somebody that's in this this isn't a surprise the nine of cups nine of cups this person still provides or represents wish fulfillment on top of all it is this is not a devastating type of energy this is a i'm okay with what you do this is stagnant stagnant energy it's true love, yes. There is an established connection, yes. There is a new beginning, yes. Someone has been on the fence about it, yes. Things need to be brought back into balance, absolutely. The call came down, yes. That's how someone feels. However, there's still some things here, but somebody's okay with this. I, this is all over the place. This better make sense to somebody because... You know how I get when I when it don't make sense. And I'd be like, what? An established connection only makes sense to one person. What's going on? You okay with? Somebody been dipping and had their hands in more than one pot. Yes, there's a need for balance, but we're still together. Maybe we disconnect and come back together a million times. Clarify judgment. Clarify judgment. I ain't judging. Show me. I'm pulling off the top. Seven of pence. So the judgment that came down, the call, was telling you we've invested too much. We're not leaving. We're not leaving. You guys possibly go hold up in, the, in somewhere and be like, uh-uh, we're not leaving. It's time for you guys to disconnect from the world and get back on um, the good foot here. But I see that no matter what is represented in this Seven of Pentacles, no matter who's been doing what and who wop the bop bop, this is going to stay the way it is. And nobody's going anywhere. Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the clarifying energy. Four of swords upright and a clarifying energy. And the hair font in reverse. But three of cups as a peaking energy. All right, neighboring energy is this three of cups. You know what that means to me. That means that this seven could represent some third parties. This could mean that there are celebrations with other people. This could mean that there hasn't been enough attention paid. This could mean um, to one another or to whomever is uh, uh, resonated with this top energy. This means that right now someone is not in mode where they're thinking about the relationship, so to speak. This also means that someone isn't feeling nurtured, nurturing right now with this queen of pentacles. And also this is you not feeling like you're, you are um, accepting or you are examining with the hair font your structures and how you feel about relationships. This is a definitely a definite retrograde reading. Um, Capricorn, you are being guided in your divine energy oracle message that is below to grieve your losses. If you wanted to know Capricorn, I'm speaking to you specifically, not your partner. 
whether the person that you are connecting with is your true love, yes. If you wanted to know whether you would be marrying this person, I feel like if you put the energy behind that magician, wedding is imminent. Absolutely. The situation does in involve marriage, meaning you and this person, or there's been a marriage, either between you and another person or your partner and another person. That does not mean that this energy here is hard to read. There is mutable energy all over the place type of energy in here. There is a one hand I want to make an offer. The other hand, I'm undecided. There is a two steps forward and a two steps back. The, uh, you know, the, the tango again. There is a flighty type of, uh, type of mentality in here. Okay. One minute somebody is operating in um, a you are my wish fulfillment, you are my true love. And the next moment someone is leaving the connection and going to find and be the king of pentacles elsewhere. Represented by this seven of cups. Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully. My God. Hopefully, the extension sheds a little bit more light because you rock with this. Please let me know. I need to know. You know, you guys, you already know how we roll. Rolling on the homies. That's rolling with the homies, but that's how my daughter used to say it. Shout out to Clueless when she was little. Okay, no, seriously. I'm trying to shed light on this because I don't understand. It. I, I don't know what is going on here. Um, I read the cards, but the, the situation makes absolutely no sense. There is a stable energy here that holds down camp, doesn't move, while another energy kind of roams about in the Seven of Cups and leaves and comes back, disconnects and connects when they feel like it. And somewhere along the line, this makes both of you or one of you very happy, and this is true love. I'm not judging. OK, um, but um, remember, you really don't love yourself if you allow someone to do that. I just have to be marvelous, madame, on TV for a second. Like, how can you allow someone to do that? I just said I wasn't judging. I'm not judging. Whatever works. But seriously, though, I think that this is where the love yourself comes in. That Your self-respect will make you more romantically attractive. It's, to, I mean, if this person isn't going anywhere, you can't put down your pinnacle in seven other places and then come back into my life. And I got a Capricorn moon and this don't resonate with me at all because I ain't going at gunpoint. So I ain't judging. If it resonates with you, if you like it, I love it. You already know I love you guys. I'm not here to judge. I'm just saying I was just trying to shed some light on that card. I'm assuming that that's what it means. I mean, I know what it means, but I'm trying to make it fit. And this is just crazy. So as usual, Capricorn, you do not disappoint. I hope all that made sense. Y'all going to make me sick again. Okay, I'm out of here. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below. If you want to know how the other energy is going to react, because I personally think this is anybody's spread. Meet me in the, in, in the extension, okay? If you go underneath the video and purchase your Zodi mug, this is the Cancerian Ow. Go ahead, purchase it and support the channel. Thank you in advance. If you do happen to order your Zodi mug, go ahead, pose with it. Send it to me at readings at marvelousmadam.com. Everything's below. And then I'll send you a token of my appreciation for supporting me. Thank you. Ow. Okay, one last thing, guys. I'm just dumbfounded, okay? <laughs> Divine Energy Oracle below. Extensions below. My email address below. Everything you need is below, okay? I redone the template. It's all below. I gotta go because I really am dying to know what the hell is going on on the other end of this energy. <laughs> I will see you guys here. Next month when we do it again, Capricorn. You never cease to amaze me, my beautiful Cappy. Don't start in them comments because I'm a Cap Moon. So I said, 
This is this is anybody's spread. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Bye, guys.